Just for some context, this channel has been around for over 12 years, and in that time, the Moabi team and I have created more than 850 videos, racking up over 34 million views. If you stick around until the end of this video, I will share everything I know about making videos. That's 10 years of experience packed into just 10 minutes. Step one, get to know the platform where you plan to upload your videos. Each platform has its own algorithms that determine which videos get shown to a wider audience. Take YouTube, for example. It actively promotes videos with high audience retention, frequent uploads, and strong engagement, likes, comments, watch time. Even a basic understanding of how these algorithms work can help you optimize your videos for maximum reach. When you start editing, it's crucial to understand the format you should aim for. What kinds of videos get the most views? What content your audience expects and so on? In other words, studying the platform and being familiar with successful content will help you adapt your editing and strategy to fit the specific requirements. This approach will make it easier for you to manage your content effectively and attract more subscribers. Step two, now you need to decide on the software and device you will be working on. Personally, I prefer editing on a laptop or desktop rather than a phone, and that's what I'd recommend you as well. Laptop is generally faster at processing video, especially when dealing with high resolution footage, 4K and above, or complex effects. Video editors on laptops also offer a more convenient timeline view, while phones often struggle with heavy projects. If your editing involves precise audio, synchronization, layering multiple video tracks, graphics, or using advanced tools like object tracking or multicam editing, this requires sharp visual control, which is much easier on a larger screen. Honestly, unless you are exclusively editing in shorts, I'd strongly suggest working on the computer. Plus, it's better for your eyes and posture. As for the software, there are plenty of options and debates over which is best have been going on for years, what's better or more user-friendly, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Vegas Pro, or After Effects. In reality, most of these programs offer similar tools. In nearly any modern video editing software, you can accomplish everything you need to create content for social media and YouTube. With 100% certainty, you will be able to do everything you need in the editing program you're already using. For example, I've been using Movavi Unlimited for years. Its functionality provides a comprehensive set of tools that more than cover all my needs. Plus, it has simple interface and includes all the essential features. So what is Movavi Unlimited? Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage shutter on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters, and add text stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Step three is all about mastering the basic tools. And trust me, no amount of theory can replace hands-on practice. I could talk you ear off about different techniques, but you'll only start truly getting it once you open your editing software and start piecing together your material with your own hands. If you don't have any footage to work with, but are itching to practice, I suggest using the free stock videos to create something cohesive. Pexels has some pretty decent options, for example. Once you're comfortable with your editing software and basic functions become second nature, the next step is to start using keyboard shortcuts. This simple trick can save you a ton of time and make you feel like a pro. You don't need to learn every single shortcut, but mastering five to seven of the most relevant ones for you is definitely worth it. To find the list of keyboard shortcuts in Movavi, just open the help menu and select keyboard shortcuts. You'll find buttons for all sorts of situations, add in a freeze frame, open a new project, shift and select the clips left and right, and more. Plus, you can always customize your own shortcuts 
if you frequently perform the same action while editing, it's smart to speed up that process. Step four, now it's time to dive into more advanced editing techniques. This isn't just about mastering animation, uh, visual effects, or transitions between shots. It's also about storytelling, working with music, color grading, and other crucial aspects. Don't try to master everything all at once. Instead, choose a style or genre of video that resonates with you, whether it's travel vlogs, documentaries, fashion videos, or something else. Focus and learn a few key techniques that are commonly used by popular creators in that niche. For example, as a practice exercise, try rhythmic editing. This technique involves syncing your cuts with a specific rhythm, matching the transitions to the beat of the music, movement, or the emotional tone of a scene. Transitions can align with musical accents or occur at regular intervals, creating either a harmonious or contrasting effect that enhances the emotional impact on the viewer. However, no matter how impressive a technique is, remember that it's just a tool to help you tell a story and keep your audience engaged until the end. So don't get too caught up in complex tricks, focus and make your video clear, simple, and enjoyable to watch. Step five, now we're getting into the world of artificial intelligence. Just five years ago, it was something most people barely knew about. But today, AI is almost inseparable from our daily lives. If I were starting from scratch on YouTube in 2024, I wouldn't miss out on the opportunities AI offers. And I'm not talking about complex tools that require a second degree to understand. If you're into video editing, AI can simplify your workflow by generating subtitles, automatically removing pauses, providing voiceovers, creating animations. AI can also remove unwanted objects from your footage, change backgrounds, and even create new videos from text descriptions. In short, don't hesitate to let AI handle the simple, repetitive tasks so you can focus on the more creative aspects of making your videos. Step six, packaging your video, which is crucial for grabbing viewers' attention. A bright and eye-catching thumbnail, compelling title, and a well-crafted description can be the key to convincing your audience to click on your video among a sea of others. Since viewers often decide whether to watch within seconds, the visual appeal and first impression of your video can be make or break factors. But in 2024, the concept of video packaging has become much broader, in my opinion. It now includes not just the thumbnail, title, and description, but also community posts where you announce your video's release. And let's not forget about creating shorts, those quick snippets from your main video. You can post these either before the premiere or after the main video has gone live to draw more attention to your content. YouTube's algorithms heavily factor in click-through rate when promoting content. The more users choose your video from the suggested options, the more often it will be shown to others. So quality packaging doesn't just attract attention, it directly impacts the reach and success of your video, helping it to be seen by a wider audience. Step seven. Seven, automate your processes. Constantly pushing yourself to the limit will only lead to burnout. To avoid that, it's crucial to take some load off your shoulders. Some people hire a team and delegate tasks, but if that's not an option for you, at the very least, you should organize your projects, create a system, and learn to use templates. You can easily find them forums or in editor communities. For, for instance, in Movavi's video editor, there is a built-in store with various effects, titles, and stickers where you can build your own collection. This will make your editing process much smoother. Another handy tip is to keep your editing files organized. As your project grows with more materials, music, and effects, managing them becomes more challenging. So, instead of digging through heaps of junk on your desktop every time you start working, or spending half an hour searching for the right music track, optimize your virtual workspace. This will make the editing process and your overall work on your channel much more efficient and comfortable. I hope this video gave you some valuable tips and ideas that you will try out for yourself. Don't forget to share your results in the comments and see you in the next video.